Well, where is this handsome and sexy man going? Home. Home sweet home. Back to Africa. Previously on Sailing Miss Lone Star, Searle has to go back to South Africa. I go back to spend some time with family, and my boat takes the trip down the Pacific Northwest without me. I'm Aubrey, and I've been living on a sailboat for almost eight years. And finally, I think I found my dream boat. It's a pirate ship, a 1977 Formosa 51. My plan is to circumnavigate this boat around the world. Welcome back to Sailing Miss Lone Star. This is my 51 Formosa that we're going to take on a maiden voyage with the new sails. We're headed out to the Channel Islands, and we're going to see if we can find some great white sharks. And this week, we have a very special guest. Welcome back to Sailing Miss Lone Star. Okay, you guys, guess what? We have a guest today that's coming, a very special guest that has been a huge part of making this boat go. So today, we have Daryl from Precision Sails coming out here to help me do some stuff with these big beautiful sails that we've put on the boat that I have not used yet. So he has his own agenda, which is to see sharks. There's this breeding ground out in the Channel Islands that is supposedly chocked full of great whites. So from what I understand, he's brought a wetsuit, which, I mean, to each their own. I don't have a cage here, but I will hold the camera while he, I don't know if he wants to pet one. I don't know if he's gonna dress like a seal. I'm not really sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to get him on deck, helping with the sails before he gets eaten by a great white. We love him so much, he's great. Well, I think he should be here any minute, so let's go ahead outside and uh, and wait for him. I'm so excited. It's gonna be the last time. Okay, I just got the call. Daryl's almost here, exciting. He should be pulling up any minute. It's kind of a tough place to find, but I think I gave him good directions. He should be here any minute. Daryl! This is so exciting! Welcome to Houdini! <laughs> Come on board! Holy cow. Are you gonna get up there? Are you gonna take a, yeah. a swim? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Did you this find it so okay? Cool. Yeah, yeah, I got an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so we're gonna go down below, have a little coffee, and then we're gonna give Daryl a boat tour. So let's get down below. Welcome to Houdini. Thanks, this is so exciting to be here. I'm so happy to have you. I can't wait to show you the sails, but first we're gonna give you a tour. So where we're standing now is the doghouse or the upper salon. So this is where we make all of our food. And this is where we make all the movie magic happen. Back here is my lair. Captain's quarters. I'm the captain. <laughs> and there's a separate head. You have your own and this one's mine. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, right? So now we're gonna head to the lower salon and you're gonna be up front here. So this is kind of like a hangout and chill area. Okay. We got a little fireplace. Butterfly oh, hatch. Yeah, so she's bigger than she looks on the TV. So moving back this way is where your room's gonna be. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna be staying here. In this one? Mm-hmm, this is a full-size berth. And everyone's vests are on these hooks. Daytrex hooked us up here. Yep. So every berth has their own Daytrex vest there for safety. We've got a six man life raft up top, which we'll look at later. And okay. yeah, everything uh, everything the, floats. That's just the V berth? Yep, here's the V berth up okay. front there if we wanna have some more peeps join us. Nice. Some little gremlins. And this is gonna be your head. Awesome. And there's a shower with lots of hot water. If you clog the toilet, we're gonna have to scuttle the boat. Good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hand on hand. No. My 51 foot sailboat can hold quite a few crew, but right now it's just Daryl and I. If you're interested, send me an email at MissLoneStarAdventure at gmail.com. 
I'll be looking for crew in the future. Next week, I'm going to show you what's under the hood, and we're going to make a very necessary improvement. So you came here to help me with my sales, and I am here to help you get eaten or not get eaten? I'm hopefully not get eaten. I hope I don't get <laughs> eaten. But yes, we made uh, Aubrey sales, uh, and I'm really excited to get out there and test them and just have fun sailing this boat. You've never sailed it. No, I have. We've had the head sails out, but never the main or mizzen. Okay, this is exciting. Yeah. I so, love doing this. Awesome. Cool. So let's do that first. Step one will be opening up the battens. The battens whip open, and that makes them seem quite dangerous. Okay, step one. My least favorite, which is going to be the battens. These bad boys, oh, oh boy. These bad boys are in a coil and uh, not it. They're fiberglass coiled up and we could be killed. So I'm gonna pull them out. I'm gonna walk away from them and I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what to do with them and let Daryl uh, unhook them. He made them. He can unhook them. Battens. <laughs> My favorite. Do you have a knife? Oh, we have pliers. Pliers? Do you have side cutters? I have a tiger, it's a thrill of the fight. Get our face real close. What? <laughs> 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 Their timing is not impeccable. Okay. Now what? Oh, those are gonna go. No, nope, just wait. Anyway. Those <laughs> are gonna let themselves go. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get whipped, man. <laughs> oh look, like a pro. Oh, look at that. Okay, look at that. Wow, I'm impressed. Moment of truth, we're gonna open up this sail right now. Actually, I do know for a fact we have not tried this yet, so I hope it fits. But they're so great, I'm sure it fits. And if it doesn't fit, then they have the best customer service in the sail making industry, so everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. But let's hope for the best right here. Oh, look at this. That is crispy. Look at her, I'll fit it out. Houdini looks happy. Okay, so we do have space on the on the covers here, or the uh, solar panels, but if you wanna raise the clue and you change this out, just add a spacer, because if this goes up an inch, the whole boom goes up as well. So on a loose footed sail, that's all you have to do. Perfect, okay, great, because we are gonna redesign yeah. this whole thing, so this, just, this whole piece you here. You just add a spacer and that goes up. Fantastic. This is looking awesome. Looks so good. I mean, look at the size of the sail. So the sail is gonna come in and out a tiny bit with mm -hmm. the spacing of these, but you wanna try and get the offset, you know, within half an inch. Okay. right from here to the cars so sometimes the pins aren't that long but you try and extend it and make sure they're secure oh and understand. line them up there might be a tiny bit going up the okay for one day and you're already breaking shit that's not good what, what happened <laughs> so i think i'm gonna need a stronger winch, winch. oh my it's gosh not on anything. no it's not it's just that i've been having an issue with it so i've been so bummed thinking i can't 
get this mane up on my own. Well, at this point, I can't get the mane up on my own. I don't think the mane should be that heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So Daryl's sending the drone up to check the shiv at the top. I was up there not too long ago and checking all that stuff out and it looked pretty good to me. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I need a better winch? Uh, at this point I can't get the main up on my own. It's too heavy so that's kind of a big bummer considering that I'm on my own. <laughs> right, we've flaked her with great difficulty. Okay, now for the moment of truth. We're gonna measure this for the stack packs. Now that we have the sail stacked so perfectly, um, we're gonna start measuring for a new cover. Three measurements we need for the height of the cover. Okay, and the first one is we're gonna go from the top of the boom to the top of the mainsail car. Now, we will still pull the pin on the head plate, and drop the plate down, okay? I'll show you that when we do the measurements. Um, and that's gonna be from the top of the slider to the top of the boom. And we'll do that in three spots along the way. Oh, we were over there. Mm -hmm. question of the hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the breeding ground for sharks? Because Daryl wants to go swimming. He wants to snorkel? I don't know. We've got Royce over here with his girls and we're getting some local knowledge. He just gave us this big spiel about how he did this video about it was like a spoof with all the wrong instructions right before we asked him so hopefully we get the right info. <laughs> anyway he's gonna tell us where to go and if Daryl's gonna be eaten or not. I'm really excited to find out. I've got the seal scented sunscreen so we can get some action. That's the spot right there. And the betchers right here, killer, killer little spot to stay. Where, just in that bay? Right here, there's a kelp forest here. That's I saw that gnarly. when you zoomed in, it was all kelp. Yeah, it's super gnarly right here. Is that where you go snorkeling? Yeah, if you want to. If I you mean. want to. <laughs> what do you mean? You swim out there all the time. Like there's, there's nothing. Wrong. Sharks are like dogs, you know what I mean? Are you just kidding me? Yeah, they're cool. Okay, so Royce left and uh, we're making dinner. Daryl's doing dishes, which is cool. And yeah, I'm super excited. Daryl wants to see some great white sharks, which I think would be super cool. So apparently there's a breeding ground there. And the consensus is that they breed all the time. Some months are better than others. And the month that we're particularly in is at the tail end of a good month. So that's exciting. Um, Daryl would like to chum, which I think is, why not? Poor K no. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely great. So we're trying to round up uh, one more crew member who's hopefully going to be here tomorrow. If not, we're just going to go without him. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. We, 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 can, we can do it alone. Okay? You it's and me. It's a big boat, but yeah, we can do it. Just out in the big blue, it. chumming for sharks. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Next week on Sailing Miss Lone Star, we take the boat for a maiden voyage with her new sails. We're ushered to the islands by a pod of dolphins. Thank you so much for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. I'll see you next week on Sailing Miss Lone Star. Mm -hmm.